Hi, my name is Matt Trinkline with Storm Audio, and I'm here to talk about our new product that we just started shipping. This is the ISP Evo. This is the first evolution of the home theater into the fully digital realm. And this provides a couple of benefits for everybody involved. First of all, for the dealers, it makes your life a lot easier, right? No longer do we have to have days of pulling speaker wire from one end of the house to another when we can put a digital amplifier that receives AES-67 audio, and you can pull 32 channels discrete uh, over a network cable connected to your local area network in the house. The other side of this is that it's better for your end customers. The reason why is because every time you go through an A to D or D to A conversion, you introduce error and you introduce loss because mathematically that's how that works. Doesn't matter how fine the resolution is, you're always gonna have a, a bit of a degree of it. So the benefit with this is that you can maintain a more true to fidelity sense of the actual recording and the cinematic content, right? Because just like anything else, what we're experiencing is art and you want that art to be as pure as possible. Just like sipping on a, a fine glass of wine, you don't want that glass to be tainting the flavor of the wine, you want to experience it true as it is. So this is the new ISP Evo. I'll spin it around here so you can see the front panel too. So this either is a 20 or a 32 channel format, and it can either be AES EBU or what we call AOIP, and AOIP is our AES 67 format. We use the interoperability standard, so that means you can pair with Dante, Ravenna, anything else that's AES 67, so it makes your options pretty much endless. The other great thing about this is because of the different price points and levels, it makes it really easy and it's a smaller form factor. So the AES EBU models come in at 18,000 and 20,000 MSRP, whereas the AOIP models come in at 20 and 22,000 between the 20 and the 32 channel. Then over here we have our flagship piece, the Elite, uh, always the latest and greatest. The Elite is the best of all worlds. It encompasses the ability to do any kind of digital processing and input and output you want while still maintaining analog too. And the best thing about it is with our new 4.4 software, you have multi-instancing. So this is really cool, especially for dealers or people who have multiple setups, because what this would allow you to do is you could actually have a 32 channel analog theater and a separate 32 channel digital theater and switch between them at will with different configurations, setups, anything along those lines. And the biggest thing that's new that we can't wait to start doing in a bigger scene that's gonna come out hopefully at the end of this month is Dirac Live Active Room Treatment. That'll be exclusive to Storm Audio until Q4 of this year. And what it does is it really encompasses two main technological aspects. The first is that it looks at treating bass decay and reverberation in your space. So similar to how active noise canceling headphones work, Dirac ART works to remove all the bass decay and reverberation in your room below 150 Hertz. So it's truly impactful. Uh, it's really, really fun to demo for people because the first time you hear it, it's, it's kind of shocking because we're so used to, to bass decay and reverberation as bass. The other thing that's really revolutionary about Dirac Live ARAT is that it's an entirely new way of thinking about bass management. So beforehand, it was you pick a crossover point and that speaker is going to give all of its signal content to the subwoofers, you know, unless you're going to run some kind of dual processing thing. Dirac Art is a whole entirely new way of thinking about bass management. No longer are we doing crossovers where things are being separated. Everything gets to be run full range, so it's true to fidelity, and every single speaker in the room can support that. So it's really impactful. So say, for example, you have a 5.1 system and you're playing music. Every speaker is going to be active while you're playing two-channel music, doing either support or correction. And then, of course, we have our little brother, the PA-16 amplifier. So this is a 16 channel amplifier based on Class D Pascal audio. Um, eight of these channels are bridgeable for higher output. Uh, we also have a PA8 Ultra amplifier that is not here with us today.